having just returned from the expedition on the Karai Range, I'm just inspecting the copies of uh, some of the footprints that we discovered in a mudflat up there in the jungle. We've had some phenomenal luck. Uh, it's taken myself and Heather many years to find evidence like this. For many years we've found nothing but uh, sightings reports from other people, collected a lot of historical data, Aboriginal information, but now finally we have classed a cast of footprints and in this case of the Rex Beast form of Yowie, the giant Yowie, the 10 to 12 foot tall or 3.66 meter tall hominids and uh, these are believed to be uh, the, the joint uh, Homo erectus or uh, a latter day form of joint Homo erectus which I named Rex Beast because some years ago I discovered there was a distinct difference in the toe structure of the joint uh, Rex Beast uh, form of Homo erectus and the smaller form. Now these specimens here for example are much smaller. This is a juvenile uh, Yowie in this case found with these giant footprints. I'd say it's a juvenile version of what's to be one day a uh, 12 foot tall or, or 3.66 meter tall hominid. The other two tracks here are something else and uh, these were of course uh, found on the way up on the, uh, the side of the mountain uh, as you saw earlier in the documentary where we found tracks on the side of a road. They've turned out to be pygmy. The reason for this being that they both left feet I might add. We have no uh, right foot impression that doesn't survive. They were in a small disturbed area of soil but the little toe is far more outer and in this specimen here much more so it's a better impression in this regard um, it shows the uh, small toe separate from the others that's a uh, pygmy characteristic in Australia and so they do differ from this one the toes are splayed out because like these giant tracks the specimen uh, was made by a hominid uh, walking through sloppy mud and uh, there were that many footprints that we didn't have enough plaster for them and I still have a couple more which we've got to copy from. These are copies of originals. Now there is a difference in the toe structure and in the, the feet generally uh, from the small variety. The giant form is a much more primitive looking hominid than the smaller yaoi. So what we're dealing with is uh, not only the smaller yaoi on the Karai, the, that is um, two metre tall average height uh, one or under, but also these larger ones. So there's at least two races of relic hominid uh, yaoi that is in the Karai range. It was many years ago that I discovered that there were in fact two forms based on the structure of the footprints. And uh, since then of course I've named the larger form Rex Beast for this reason. I think that if we concentrate on the area where these tracks have been found we're going to find more footprints and hopefully finally get something on film and uh, the sighting we made the other night of um, creatures up there in the, in the Karai is uh, very encouraging. It was late at night and uh, impossible to get any film but I think if one stakes out this area long enough we're certain to get something but it, it's very encouraging as I say and it shows that for tens of thousands of years or more relic hominids supposedly long extinct in the form of Homo erectus, our immediate ancestor, are still with us, living out there in the remoter regions. They may come close to us at times, but they could never join us any more than we could join them and become part of their world. They're 
that they are separated from us by half a million or more years of evolutionary development. So we couldn't live in their world any more than they could in ours.